he had a he had an incident that was public on uh, PEDs where you got uh, dope tested and didn't pass. Um, I watched an interview with that, and you were talking about how you really didn't know what the hell you were doing at the time, and just <laughs> didn't dose it right, or you just kind of like you know took a stab at it for yourself. The interesting thing though is that I've noticed with testosterone is it doesn't make that much of a difference, you know, as you get older, like. When I was 25, I could I could easily bench press three plates. Like now it's like two plates, you know, if I'm lucky and I'm on TRT, right? So it's not like it makes a huge difference, but yeah. like how far over the limit did you test? Like was it just marginal? Like when it ended up happening? So I like I, I, I wasn't successful with it because my strategy was what I heard other people were doing, but I didn't have all the pieces. Is you would replace your normal testosterone levels with synthetic testosterone. So mm -hmm. you do 100 to 150 milliliters per week, um, which is about half of what a normal doctor's prescription is for it. But the idea is that your levels are going to be the same, but the synthetic testosterone is better than the natural uh, testosterone. And I don't know if I believe that. Yeah. It, I, I mean, I was stronger when I was in my 20s natural than what I am today. Yeah, so I, I don't know if that's true or not. That was the, That's just the line of thinking. That's the theory, though. Yeah, that was the theory behind it. So if you keep it that, the um, the commissions, when you're tested, they test. Was it, the was it just straight T, like cypionate yeah. or ethionate, or was it like D-ball? Because D-ball can make you strong, too. No, it was right? just straight testosterone. Okay. Um, and it was, uh, yeah, so, um, oh, what's the same? Oh yeah, so the, the the ratio. So you can test three to one or four to one mm -hmm. at the time in certain commissions for your testosterone to estrogen ratios, right? Which is your normal human is one to one usually anyway. So it gives you a pretty good range to be on that synthetic. And as long as you are within that range, you pass and um, you're fine. But I didn't know what I was doing. So you're supposed to come off of the injections like three weeks prior, and then you're supposed to use a topical. I guess. Well, I didn't have a top goal and I didn't know. And I used injections until like a week out. So I, I, my ratios came back nine to one. So after they did that, I was flagged and then they tested for synthetics. Mm -hmm. So they paid extra money to see if it was synthetic and it was. So I got like devils, dummy little double whammied. But that was me trying to play catch up because there was a time period where TRT was legal. You could legally get uh, therapeutic uh, exemptions from mm -hmm. doctors um, and fight still in the UFC and other uh, promotions like the, the commissions allowed it. So uh, when I was released by the UFC, it was kind of after that heartbreak I talked about. I, I was like, why am I why am I making less money than these guys and they're cheating? Like, what am I what am I really gaining by by not doing what everybody else is doing? So I, I mm -hmm. rationalized myself back into it. But like I had the one fight. I didn't feel any better. I could eat whatever I wanted to and look awesome. Mm -hmm. That was nice. But like my cardio wasn't better. Nothing was better. And then the injection sites hurt so bad. I couldn't, I couldn't grapple at all. <laughs> I, I couldn't sit on my ass. Like I would. Or were you using a harpoon to shoot it in? Like a big. I, I think I was using too big of a needle. I didn't okay. know what I was doing. Really. Crazy. Um, yes. So is that common, you know, with fighters? Like, do they use PEDs, but just at levels where it's like, looks natural? At the time, I think that was, uh, I think that was something that they were doing a lot of, because I'd heard it from a couple different places. There was that fighter war machine. Mm -hmm. He made a video that went viral, uh, where he's talking about literally how how you get a doctor to prescribe you tests in the first place, and then mm -hmm. how you use it and things like that. And that's, uh, I think, a lot of guys were, were using that approach for a little bit. Yeah, I mean, it's not ideal, like you like you mentioned in one of the conversations. Like, it's not an ideal substance for, uh, you know, for sport where you have to make weight, right? Because I mean, you're going to well, put on not, water. Actually, yeah, I don't, I, I couldn't understand that unless you're like putting on size to move up weight classes. It didn't make a lot of sense to me to to use something that's muscle building. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not all muscle building. I mean, you do put no. on put on some water weight too, for sure. No yeah, problem. I think some of the some of the ideology came from what was going on with uh, Lance Armstrong. Yeah, stuff was coming out, and there was like there's uh, also the baseball stuff with uh, yeah. Mark, whatever his name was, that redheaded guy that was knocking like yeah. every ball out of the park. So there was like there's different strategies and things people were talking about for use. 
So, what about uh, today? Like, are you still on TRT? No. So I haven't used since then, and I recently did that Let's Get Check thing online, and yeah. I, I did a video on it on my, on my channel, official John Fitch. But I'm at five sixty seven now. Mm. So I feel good. I look good. Uh, my hair is still here. I don't want to. I don't want to fuck with my hair. So I'm. Now, you would have started to lose your hair by now if you had like the uh, predisposition to hair loss from androgens. Mm. So I mean, I, like even your natural body's teeth production will make it fall out. I'm just. I don't. I don't want to risk. I could, yeah. I could. I could probably get shredded. If I was on it, but uh, you probably wouldn't get as shredded as what you are right now. Like you're pretty ripped. I've seen some of the pictures you've posted on Instagram, and you're pretty lean. Because I mean, as soon as you go on tea, like what ends up happening is you put on water weight. You know, right. like immediately, like like probably in about eight to ten weeks, I probably put on about ten pounds of weight, and it wasn't all muscle for sure. Mm. Like I went from one ninety eight to two hundred eight, like quickly. I've been, uh, yeah, I've been eating. I've been trying to put on weight. I'm trying to get bigger. Yeah. I'm like at 220 right now. I don't want to get like fat though. So I'm trying to lift and get big. Well, it's big for six foot tall if you're 220, man. Yeah, it's a pretty, it's a good size. I just, uh, I want to be a solid 220 and lose a little bit more though. I got, I, I pack it on the side. I got like the, the camel humps on the side. Love, love handles. Yeah. That's what I, that's where I put on the weight first. Well, I mean, you got the core, right? You got to have the tight core to take all those hits. Yeah. You're built that way now.